Hello and welcome to another GCSE Science Revision Podcast with Mr Hall. Today I'm talking about GPE and kinetic energy. I'm going to go through an example because that conversion from GPE to kinetic energy can be a key question in your upcoming exams. Let's talk about an example I have here. I've got a boy who wants to climb up a slide and slide down it. So we want to calculate his GPE first when he climbs up the slide and then his kinetic energy conversion and what his velocity is at the end of the slide. So let's start with the GPE. The boy has a mass of 50 kilograms. In the GPE equation, we need to know what his weight is. And remembering on Earth, the weight is 10 newtons per kilogram. So his weight is 500 newtons. He climbs up the slide and we need to know that height. And the height in this case is 2 metres. So using the equation GPE equals weight times height, we can work out that that equals 500 newtons times 2 metres, which gives us an answer of 1,000 joules. Always remember to include those units. He then slides down the slide. Now as he does this, the GPE is converted to kinetic energy and by the time he reaches the bottom, we can make an assumption that all of that GPE is converted to kinetic energy. We know, however, there would normally be friction, but in this example we're going to assume there's no friction. So assuming all of that 1000 joules is converted to kinetic energy. That means his kinetic energy is a thousand joules, so we can work out what his velocity is. And we do that using the equation for kinetic energy, which equals half times mass times velocity squared. In this case, we know what the kinetic energy is, and we know what his mass is, so we want to calculate velocity. So we need to rearrange the equation. And the rearrangement is velocity equals the square root of kinetic energy divided by half times mass. We then put in what we know, a thousand joules for kinetic energy, and 50 kilograms for the mass, and we get the square root of a thousand divided by half times 50. It's important then just to do one step at a time rather than try and do it all at once. So I'll do the half times 50 first, which is 25. So now I have the square root of 1,000 divided by 25. 1,000 divided by 25 is 40, so I have the square root of 40. By putting that in, I then get a final answer of velocity equals 6.32 metres per second. Again, remember to include those units. I hope this has helped you understand that conversion. Make sure you can do examples like this yourself. Thank you, and goodbye.